Hare Krishna dear devotees. As I promised, in this video I will show you how to make dhoti and kurta. I will show you how to make kurta in different three versions and same thing with dhoti front. I'm using Dupioni silk fabric. First I will start by making all the embroideries in my machine embroider machine if you don't have embroider machine in, then you can skip this part but i will show you how things turn so nice with embroidery machine so i designed this waist belt and uh, i digitized it and now i i'm able to embroider it a ready-made belt for the lord this is a applique type of embroidery so this is how it's made first you put the backing then you embroider once and once you know the place you put a small fabric on top of that embroidery and then cut out very closely to the stitches like this and then without moving the backing you shouldn't move it otherwise it will embroider in different place so as you see i already embroidered all the parts which i need to embroider and i'll be using this color palettes golden and green and pink color and gray color for lord nityananda So first thing is, uh, you have to take the patterns and cut out the patterns from the fabric. For the patterns, you can look at the description of this video. I'll be updating the description and I'll be giving you the link for the pattern. So I cut out, because this is very thick fabric, dupioni, silk pure dupioni. I will try to use lesser lining but since I promised you three versions of kurta so I will show you first with lining as well and for contrast color of the dhoti front I'll use green chadars color and the golden color now let's start so what I, I will do is from the wrong side of the fabric I'll stitch around and I'll keep small place open so that I can turn it to the right side. Same thing I'll do with attaching liner lining to the kurta. I'll stitch these sides and from this side I'll turn it around. And for dhoti, I don't want to put lining, otherwise it will become very bulky. So what I will do is, I'll bend like this and I will stitch with my hand. So everything is with hand here, okay? So even if you don't have machine, you can do it with your hand. So now I did everything. For dhoti, I used golden color thread so that it's neat. And I attached the liner. and the contrasting color for the dhoti front now for kurta i need to stitch from the wrong side like this and for the right side again like this so finally dhoti uh, kurta will look like this and now let's prepare the dhoti so as you know before finding a final pattern i mess up with so much fabric and finally when i get the nice pattern i will start using it with good fabric so as you see i have here a sample dhoti made and i'm copying from that 
so neatly you will fold it fold should face front up to the waistline and from the middle you stitch with similar color thread so that it will look neat this this pattern will suit six inches dt without including the lotus so i stitched the middle part now carefully folding the sides i'll stitch the sides as well in scone dt's are not standard so I prepared this pattern for 6 inch tall DT and I'll start I'll increase the size also and keep it but if you want to make for your bigger DTs or smaller DTs then you need to make for samples with the simple fabrics otherwise you will waste a lot of fabric so here the final dotty now how will we put the front part as you see the pattern i mentioned their bottom top and zigzag place this is a little bit tricky but with trial you will find out how to fold it so that it will look neatly There are two ways of folding this dotty front. This is first version. So first version will look like this. A lot of zigzags in the front. This looks neat. This is the first version. And second version is, if you want this exact part to be visible, little in the bottom. So you will see what I'm telling. And the plus side of this, if you have very small DT, or if your DT is ate a lot, their stomach is too big. So you don't want a lot of thickness around the stomach. So this version is actually for that top part is thinner and bottom part bottom part is thick so in the waistline side there is very little fabric there is there are not so much zigzag as you see it's very thin now when dhoti is ready as i told in my other janmashtami shopping video i have the stickers it's not a sticker it's a uh, velcro it's called and uh, i'll stitch it like this in my other videos i was not showing this part but many of you asked so i'm showing detailed uh, how i stitch this velcro into the cloth so as you see it's a uh, sticky now final thing looks like this actually this is the one of the versions of dotty front i will show you different ways too a little later so while varying to the dt you will do like this and it will look like a dotty now this is the second version of Kurta. first with lining it became very thick so if you have bigger dts you can put a lining and it won't be so much visible now if you have very small dt and you need a fine kurta not with not so much thickness then you need to use this method if you don't have a sewing machine embroider machine what you need to do is you have to stitch zigzag stitch with your hand all around the kurta it's time consuming i know but it won't be bulky on your dt so 
So all the sides you have to stitch like this. And after that, here you see I stitch all the sides. And after that with golden thread, I'll fold the sides and stitch it like this. Why I did that zigzag stitch? Because I don't want a fabric to, uh, I don't want the threads of fabric to come out. We want the dresses to last long. That's why I like when it is very neat. And I suggest you to do the same. If you do this much hard work, it's better that the uh, dresses last long. So uh, I stitched everything. It took almost 40 minutes. It's very difficult. And you will fold like this and again with your hand. Complete the kurta. And once you turn, turn it around, one side is ready. So it's really time consuming thing. That's why I have my embroider machine and I'll show you the third version of kurta. It's far more easier and looks neat. So this is the second version. It's not bulky. It looks neat, but not so much neat from inside, but it's okay. Now, this is the third version. If you have embroidery machine, again, in the description of this video, I'll put the link where you can get the digital embroidery file, which you can embroider in your machine. And then it's ready-made. You just cut it out and finish it off. That's it. For the other side of the kurta, you can, while uh, you are embroidering, you need to flip the pattern and embroider the right side and flipping to the other side, embroider the left side of the kurta. So after I embroider, I'll just clean up like this. I'll remove the backing. For embroidering, you always need this kind of backing. It's a tear, tear away backing, which is very helpful. And without this, actually you cannot make embroidery. So this took me around 10-15 uh, minutes. Of course, embroidering and digitizing it, it's, uh, it takes a lot of time. But when embroider file is ready, Making the kurta is very easy actually. It's not time consuming. So final result is like this. It looks very neat. I just love it. And plus there is embroidery. Now, as I told you, dhoti front also have three versions. One is this one, contrasting front. If you don't have embroidery machine, you do it with your hand. And it also looks nice. It looks neat actually. I like it a lot. Other version is if you have embroider machine, same pattern. You will embroider it. And you will fold it. Like this. And just attach to the dotty. Like this. And the third version is my beloved version. I will show you right after this. This also looks a little bit nice. And third version is the belt, waist belt. Oh my God, I just love it. So this is the part one video. In the second part, I may do stonework. So look for the second part of this video. So it's done devotees for chadar the stones and uh, the completion of this dress I will show you in different video part 2 and I will keep on updating the description 
please read the description and if you have some questions please comment and ask i read all your comments and to tie this belt you just don't need to attach to the dhoti but you just need uh, some rope i'm using embroidery floss hand embroidery floss as a rope to tie once i bear the dhoti to the deity i will tie this belt on top of the dhoti so it will look very nice And here is the final result. It's not very much final because there is no chatter and stonework. But in the second part, I hope I will show you everything. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, thank you so much. Hare Krishna.